Great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, good to talk to you. Uh, you have been traded to the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, just tell me a little bit about uh, the last few days when you first realized that something uh, might be up and, and your reaction to the deal. Oh, it was, it was nice. It was nice to wake up to this morning. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Um, three months ago, I wasn't really sure what my future really really was going to be like. So um, to wake up to to be given another chance, I can't thank the Oilers uh, organization enough. I still have a lot of work to do, but um, I'm, I'm willing to put in that work, and, and I'm excited to get back on the ice. Can you tell us anything about what your conversations with Peter Shirelli were like? No, they're, they're very brief. Uh, I told Peter it's not about me telling him. It's it's about me acting, and um, I think that's what I have to do. Um, everyone knows it's not my first, second chance. Um, I really need to grasp, um, grab the bull by the horns here and, and, and take uh, initiative and, and get my life turned around and my game back. So um, the only thing I really can do from here on out is um, – do it by by the way I play and the way I act. Yeah, you know Zach, you're you know if you're a pro hockey player in this country, sometimes you have to go through some things publicly that a lot of people uh, might get to go through privately. So you've you've had to face that. Let me, let me just ask you this: Are you in a better place than you were three months ago? Oh, most definitely. I think um, I'm totally fine with with what has happened and. Uh, it's kind of the past is in the past, and I can hold my head high, and I can be proud of myself um, for what I've went through and, and the person I became during this process. It's it's life changing, and uh, I'm trying to change my life around. Um, I'm not fixed by any means, but um, I'm working forward, and I have a good foundation to build off of. So, um, for first is uh, is being healthy, and then and mentally sound, and and getting my life on track and secondly uh, hockey comes and um, my life's going well and and my off ice issues are taken care of um, the hockey comes natural yeah well and that's what a lot of uh, Oilers fans are, are are hoping to see that you will wind up in the NHL and you will be able to contribute to the to the to the lineup Zach Cassian joining us inside sports how how is your physical condition would you describe yourself in in game shape or where are you at Definitely not in game shape, but I've been skating um, for two, two and a half weeks or so, working out and skating with the, with the coach down here. And um, I feel really good, obviously, um, from skating with a couple guys to going to a team practice to, to a game where there's battles and the compete level and the, the timing. And that's all something that I have to work on. But I'm really excited to get the opportunity to go to Bakersfield. Um, my end goal is to make it up to the Edmonton Oilers, but um, I'm taking it a day at a time and I'm going into Bakersfield and I'm like anyone else. I have to earn my call up. Now, when are you uh, heading to Bakersfield? Are you going later today, tomorrow, or what's the plan? I actually have to figure out my working visa situation. That may take a couple of days, but I hope to get there by the end of the week and hopefully get in the lineup by the weekend. Okay. Well, that sounds great. Zach, Tell tell Oilers fans listening tonight. When you are at your best, you know when you you know you mentioned you got some some work to do. You got to get get in game shape a little bit more. But when you are at your best, what can you contribute in the NHL specifically? You know, hopefully to the Edmonton Oilers. Well, it's no secret Edmonton's a very skilled team. I've everyone knew that. I knew that, especially being uh, a rivalry in Vancouver for for three four years. And uh, for me, I just want to be physical. Um, I want to be physical. I want, I'm, I'm good down low. I like holding on to pucks, creating small little plays. And if I'm given the chance to score, uh, I can score. But for me, it's, it's being physical and, and playing hard, and then the rest comes. And I feel I can fit into the organization um, perfectly if I do those things on a consistent basis. All right. Zach, I know it's been a busy day for you, so I appreciate you making time for us here on 630 Chat and Inside Sports. Hope to see you soon. Yeah, thanks for having me, Reed.